Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's talk about Axios because Axios is one of the very popular libraries for making network requests in JavaScript, which is now finally stable. When I say why it's stable, I mean that it has reached version one. So we're gonna also talk a little bit about what semantic versioning is in this video. And we're gonna be discussing about what this version one means. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. If you go to this Axios repo, and if you go to the releases tab, you're gonna see that the version 1.0.0 is just released a couple of days ago. So of course there are some obvious additions and changes in terms of features and everything, but what is important over here is the number, the version one. This version one, in terms of semantic versioning, what this stands for is the major version, this second decimal is the minor version, and the third decimal is the patch version. So when a major version upgrades, that is in this case from zero to one, that is how npm and package.json and everything works, they consider that as a major upgrade to the library. And Axios for the longest time has always been into version zero point something, right? This is the first time Axios has released a version one. That means it has, if it is following semantic versioning, which I hope it is, and by the standards of Node.js and package management using NPM and YARN, it is very likely recommended for every package to follow semantic versioning. So according to that, it is now in a stable, in a major upgrade version. Now in terms of semantic versioning, you upgrade the major version only when there are breaking changes, right? When something is non-upgradable, most likely, without actually changing a few things in your code base itself. So that could be a method rename, for example, that could be some sort of function signature change, that could be any, any sort of functionality change which is breaking in nature. When that happens, you go for a major version upgrade, right? And as you can see on the semantic version website, the minor version must be incremented or changed if a new back backwards compatible functionality. Backwards compatible is an important keyword here, is introduced. And the patch version is all, always incremented only if and only if backwards compatible bugs fixes are introduced. Also, according to semantic versioning rules, you can see that if you are following a version zero, that is zero point something, it's only for initial development. Technically, anything may change at any time, right? So the public API is not considered stable. So technically speaking, once libraries like Axios come out of version one, now they are considered stable. Another example which I can think of, which is very popular is React Native. React Native also still lives in this major version of zero, right? So technically, according to semantic versioning, React Native is also not suitable for public use. It's not in version one yet. But yeah, this is interesting that Axios finally is available as a public API with regards to semantic versioning, if you consider that. But one of the things which I also get asked a lot is what is the use of Axios if fetch is there? And that is a fair question. Axios used to be extremely useful before fetch when there were a lot of boilerplate required to write XML HTTP request within JavaScript. There Axios provided a very cleaner and concise syntax to write network requests. However, in today's time also, there are some usage of Axios. For example, one of the things which I remember that we use Axios within CodeDAM is for file uploads. Because in file uploads, as far as I remember, I could be wrong, but for file uploads, fetch does not support the ability to poke into and check if what the progress of the file upload is. So with fetch, if you upload a, let's say, 4 MB file or a 5 MB file, you just post it and that's it. There is no way to actually retrieve how much percentage of that file is uploaded. Therefore, we can't show you that progress meter. But with Axios, it is possible. We use Axios primarily for this purpose because Axios in the underlying infrastructure uses XML HTTP request, which supports this, this kind of behavior. Fetch doesn't do that last time I checked. Therefore, we have to use a library like this. Other than that, there are also much more uses of a library like this. You could have middlewares, you could have a much cleaner syntax, you can have authentication middlewares, you can have all sorts of things pre-configured. So it's like a power suit over existing library like Fetch. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you learned something new. Have you used Axios before? If you have, let me know in the comments what you think about this new version. That is all for this one. I'm gonna see you in the next video really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.